Hi guys, I've been so eager to film another video all week, but uh, unfortunately, just not enough happens throughout the week, so there's not really much I can update you on. So this video, I want it to be a little bit of um, a 22 week update, because I'll be 23 weeks in a few days, and some things have changed this week, um, as well as we finally picked out our names, so I can reveal the names, and um, then a few questions that I'll answer. I went on Facebook and asked and a few of my family members and friends had some really good questions so I'm actually really excited to answer them because some of them are questions that I just assume that everyone would already know. Some of them are questions that I really don't even know the answers to yet. Um, so I don't know I'm eager to really even think about it and share them with you guys. Um, so as far as a 22 week update, um, really this is just for me and Steve to look back at. Um, when we're when our journey is not over but when the babies are here and I can look back and see where I was at and hopefully if there are any other multiple moms or triplet moms out there that are watching this video maybe you can compare and see if our symptoms are similar at all so um, I didn't really cover it in the first video very much um, just because that one was more of like an our story video but throughout my pregnancy so far knock on wood I've been very thankful and blessed that my pregnancy has went fairly smoothly and pretty much symptom free um, I've never thrown up I've never had any sort of warning sickness my biggest symptoms are um, I'm exhausted and um, a little bit of acid reflux hip pain and back pain and really that's been it so I've been really lucky um, as far as this week though um, my sciatic pain has been so bad. Sometimes it's not there at all. Um, and then there are some days when it's so unbearable. I, it hurts to even put weight on, it's only on my right side. It hurts to put weight on my right leg. It hurts to walk around. And um, this past week was my birthday. And so we went to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and we had the best time ever. But that resulted in me walking around for five hours. So it, it it has taken me two days now to finally feel like I can walk around and my back is not about to just fall off my body. Um, so that's like the worst symptom that I've had. Um, as far as symptoms for the babies, um, there hasn't been much of a change as far as like how I feel. I definitely get bigger every single day. Um, and I can def I feel that when I put my pajamas on that are loose even. Uh, my pants, my shirts, everything. And I'll, I'll stand up so you can see my belly better. Um, but yeah, you, I could definitely tell that they are growing so fast. At my last doctor's appointment, they were all one pound and one ounce, which is really great. Um, like I explained before, twin B and C, uh, because they share the same sac, there's something that they're at risk for called twin to twin transfusion. And there's absolutely no evidence that that is, that is going to happen. And they're no longer at risk for that at 24 weeks. So I'm almost out of the clear with that. And if I don't have any any little symptoms as of now, then it's likely it won't happen, knock on wood. So I'm very lucky. Um, but yeah, they both weigh the same and um, they're both measuring the same. All three babies are pretty much in the 50th percentile, which is pretty good. I'm really short. So um, I assume that they're going to be small anyways, as far as height. Um, yes, they're going to be premature, but just overall, as far as height, I feel like they're probably going to be pretty short. Um, as far as symptoms and any other updates, that's pretty much it, except for that we came out up with the names, which I'm so excited about. Um, the names are going to be Scarlet Rose, Dawson Elizabeth, and Emerson Marie. Um, they all, they all sort of have, the first names not so much, but the middle names all are connected to um, our family somehow, whether it's a grandmother, a sister, or a mom. Um, someone in our family all has those names. And so, because the first names aren't so traditional, we wanted to stick with more traditional names for the middle names. And I love them all, and I think they're all perfect. And they all just go together so well. So um, now that that portion is over, I'll go ahead and answer some questions. And if you have any more questions for me, or if I'm answering them slightly vague, because I don't know, um, just ask me a question in the comments below and I would love to answer back. So um, the first question is, how does it feel when they all move? Um, I can't really compare because I've never been a mom before, I've never been pregnant before, so I don't really know what it feels like when one baby is moving in my belly, but from what I know with three babies, how it feels 
is, I don't know, it's strange. It feels like there's a lot going on in there. Like pretty much no matter where I put my hands, they, I can I can feel someone moving. Um, it's mostly when I'm laying down, I pretty much know exactly when they're gonna start kicking because I can, I can almost like start feeling my stomach flutter and then it's only within a few seconds I can start feeling them kick. And it's funny because in my ultrasound pictures you can see them kicking each other in the back of the head, sitting on each other, um, punching each other, and they all do have, um, if, it, if they, if, like, like baby A is in her own sack, so she doesn't get much of it, but baby B and C, because they share, there's a thin membrane in between them, so they're not like actually hurting each other and they're protected by the fluid and their own membrane. But it's funny because um, you can see like a chain reaction. When one baby jolts their body and kicks the other one, the other one reacts to it. And it's just so cute to see because they you can tell that they already have their little personalities. So basically how it feels when they all move is almost like chaos. Like uh, once one baby starts moving, they all pretty much wake up and move together. And it feels like, I mean, I have baby from pretty much here all the way forward, so it pretty much feels like there's a party going on in my stomach. Um, and I'm lucky right now, I don't feel them much when I'm, when I'm trying to go to bed at night, so I'm able to sleep, but yeah, that's how it feels. Um, how many godparents? My brother Ryan asked this question, which is a pretty good question, and that's because he wants to be a godparent, which of course we all want to be our siblings' godparents, but I have no idea how we're going to do this yet. I, ideally, I would like to have a set of godparents for each child because that's how we all grew up in my family. There were six of us, however, these three will all be born at the same time and they share each other's DNA, so I don't know if I could ever split them up like that. So, really, I don't know, Ryan. Um, oh, how, how will we know who is who once they're born? This is a good question. So right now, I know who is who in my belly. The, the doctors that I see all know who is who. Um, baby A is down here. She has her own sac and placenta. And then baby B and baby C are both right here. Their placenta is here. And then their cord split off at the top. They share a placenta. So as of right now, they don't move because they can't. They are, there's membranes between each of them. Um, so like I said, they can't, they can't flip around and move. So that part is not confusing at all. However, because I am so high risk, a completely set of different doctors will be delivering the babies and we'll know who baby A is because like I said, she's alone. But if while I'm in the hospital, they switch who B and C are, we will not know. We might know because um, of the weight, but otherwise there will really be no way to tell. Once they are born though, there's different things you can do like put a little like anklet bracelet on them or paint one of like their thumbnails so you can differentiate them that way. Um, and because they they will probably spend time in the NICU, I will I plan on making a little sign for each of their little bassinets so we all know who is who and I think it personalizes it more while they're in the NICU. So yeah, um, how do we know who is who? I guess that's how. We'll, we'll differentiate it differentiate them once they're born but as far as while I'm getting the c-section done if they're mixed mixed up we'll never know um, will I dress them in the same clothes yes yes I plan on dressing them in the same clothes all the time absolutely not but I think that three babies dressed the same is absolutely adorable I think that it comes to a point where it becomes inappropriate and you should probably let your kids pick their own clothes and be individuals and who they are. But probably up until the age of like two or three, I plan on if we're doing a photo shoot or if I want them to just all look sweet for the day, I probably will dress them all the same. Kill me. Um, how will we name them? So like I said, we have all three names picked out. Um, as far as how we'll name them, um, I don't know really because We've come, we came up with the names one at a time really slowly. It's taken us throughout the entire pregnancy. We, we always wanted a Charlotte and Charlotte and then call her Charlie for short. And Char Charlotte is so popular now that um, I pretty much, it was pretty much immediate once I found out I was having girls that I switched it to Scarlet because it sounds so beautiful and it is still similar. So um, Scarlet was first and then Emerson and then Dawson. So as far as who is who right now, I don't know and we're not going to plan that because like I said, once they're born they could be switched and we will never know. 
So um, what we're gonna do is just as one comes out, she will be Scarlett. As the next one comes out, she will be Emerson, and the last one will be Dawson. Um, there's no other way for us to really do it because like I said, if my heart is set on who each baby is right now, then it's it'll likely be that it's not gonna turn out that way. So I'm not gonna get my heart set on something if it's gonna change anyway. And right now I like that they're A, B, and C. Um, okay, so what was, what was our reaction to finding out we were pregnant and then finding out it was triplets? So um, finding out that we were pregnant, I was 100% shocked. Yes, we did do the IUI. If you've watched my previous video, you know that. Um, so I should have probably known a little bit, but like I said in my last video, um, I was having period-like symptoms all week. I was dead set that I was not pregnant. And um, when, you're, you, when you've gotten like so many negative pregnancy tests, it's almost like you're in denial anyway. Um, so I took the test like myself or by myself and I was shocked. Um, I immediately went to Steve's work and told him and he was shocked too. And I mean, it sunk in pretty quickly, but I, I am, do remember our immediate reaction was just, was just shocked. Um, and then, so yeah, so we found out pretty much at exactly four weeks pregnant that I was pregnant. So at seven weeks was my first ultrasound. So we had three weeks to let it sink in that I was pregnant and we genuinely only thought it was one baby um, because there was really, I mean, there was reason to believe that it could have been multiples, but the, it was just wasn't likely because the IUI we did was, was completely unmedicated. So um, finding out it was triplets, we were shocked and scared. That was my, my first two reactions were terrified. Not because I not because I I think triplets is like a scary thing, but really because the doctor scared us so badly um, that I had really no other choice but to be terrified. It didn't last for long though. Once it probably was like a, a time span of a week between when I saw my doctor and talking to the specialist and the specialist who is was seemed to be so much more informed reassured me and then that that initial shock and like terrified feeling it really went away and now I could not picture it any other way like if I only had one baby in me I could not even imagine that and yes it's overwhelming but like yes I'm pregnant with three babies these babies are mine and I could not ever imagine it being any other way um, okay so my uncle Jim asked me how how will we make them each feel equally loved? Which is a really good question, so thank you Uncle Jim if you ever see this video. It's a really good question. Um, and I've had someone else ask me that before. And I don't wanna say the question is insulting, um, because it's not, it's a really valid question. But all I can think about is that my mom and my dad raised six kids, and I don't think for one moment one of us felt less loved or less valued. My parents went out of their way always as children and now as adults to make us feel individual, to make us feel like we were individuals and love us each a different way. And maybe just because I was raised like that, that's exactly how I feel like I'll, I'll treat my girls and love my girls. Um, I'm not saying I'll never be mad at one of them um, or be more proud of one of them at a moment, but overall, I mean, the, my love for them will all be the same, no matter what. It might be a little bit different because they're gonna be different humans, but I think that my love for them will be distributed equally, and I could probably say the same thing for Steve. I'm sure that he would completely agree. So thank you, Mom and Dad, for being such a wonderful role model and loving us all. Um, how have triplets affected our relationship? I, I, won't, I won't really say that it has affected our relationship yet, as of right now, um, our relationship has gotten much better since we've gotten pregnant. Our relationship has always been very good, but um, yeah, we've just gotten closer because this is just another thing for a husband and wife to bond over. And when I know that Steve feels so much more connected to me when he can put his hand on my belly and feel all three of our babies kick him. Um, so it hasn't really affected our relationship yet, but that'll be interesting to answer when the babies are here and they're a month old and we have no sleep, then I'll answer that question again. Um, have you had different cravings? 
No, not really. I haven't, I've had like cravings in the moment, but I haven't had like consistent cravings. When I was first pregnant, I craved Caesar salad probably for like three weeks straight. And then since then I haven't had another craving. I mean, I may have like a moment where I'm like, oh my God, I would kill for some ice cream or something like that. But really that's it. Um, and then it, the craving usually goes away. I, it never really sticks around very long. It's pretty much like once I have it, then I'm like, okay, I'm good. Um, and then I have one last question. Um, can you tell who is who? Yes, I can. Um, like I said, um, they cannot move now that they're set in their places and their placentas are here and they're all pretty much squished in there. So I can completely tell who is who, who was kicking me when, who was rolling over. Um, like I said, baby A is down here, baby B is here, and baby C is here. Um, they can flip as far as like they may be head down one day, um, feet up, and then flip around that way, but otherwise they don't really do much moving. And baby A, she can't really move too much because she's got all the weight on her. So she, I mean, she moves around a lot. She kicks me a lot, but she doesn't do much flipping around. Um, and who is most active? Baby C. Baby C is definitely the most active. I could put my hand on my side pretty much any time of day and feel her kicking me, um, which I love. She's going to be most like me. I already know it. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you how big my belly is, and this will be fun for me because now, from now on, if I continue making videos, I can see how big my belly gets on a weekly basis. Okay, so from the front, it's ginormous, and I'm just starting to get the line. And from the side, it's huge, but I still love it. I'm lucky right now that I haven't gotten any stretch marks, but the doctor said at my last appointment a few days ago that it's taken me 22 weeks to get them a pound each, which means um, in the next six weeks, they're going to double in size, and by then they'll all be at least two pounds. So my, I'm, I'll probably be twice the size in only six weeks. So it's likely I'll get stretch marks. If I do, that's completely fine with me. It's just a scar showing that I carried my babies and that's okay. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you guys have any other questions for me, comment down below. I've also linked my um, Instagram in like the info. I don't really know how YouTube works, so it's, it's in there somewhere. So if you want to follow our journey that way, you can do that. And yeah, I can't wait to get this video up and see what you guys think. Bye.